Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger, and today we're going to take a look at another build video. Today it's going to be Gangplank, everybody's favorite pirate. Uh, first we're going to cover his abilities, then we're going to go over his runes and masteries, and then we'll get into the build itself. So starting off with his abilities, we'll take a look at his passive, um, which is Grog Soaked Blade. Gangplank's basic attacks in parlay apply a poison that deals magic damage each second and slows enemy movement speed. It lasts for three seconds and can stack up to three times. So it just deals a little bit extra magic damage um, after you just attack. You can pick up Indian kills a little bit easier this way or even pick up some other just, you know, normal kills when somebody's really low. So just kind of a decent passive that does a little bit extra damage after your basic attacks. Um, next one, we'll take a look at his parlay, which is Q ability. Gangplank takes aim and shoots an enemy unit with his pistol. If he kills it, it gains some extra gold. Um, it works on minions, so each time you kill minions, you'll get bonus gold for killing them with parlay. So you like to use that to last hit some minions. You will chew through your mana a little bit doing that, so we're going to address that by getting some mana regeneration items in the game as well. But it just does good damage. It also crits, and we're going to focus on that being able to crit and deal lots of damage late game to people. Next, we'll take a look at his W ability, which is Remove Scurvy. Gangplank consumes quantities of uh, oranges, and then he's K. Basically, whenever he eats the fruit, he gets health back, and he clears crowd control effects. So if you're ulted by Sona, you can just eat one of your oranges and run away. So it's nice for uh, getting rid of all that stuff or just healing up while you're in lane. Next, we'll take a look at his E ability, which is Raise Morale. Gangplank fires a shot into the air, increasing nearby allied champions' attack damage and a movement speed. Basically, it's kind of a buff for everybody to move around faster and do some increased damage and all that fun stuff. It's good for either getting away or catching up if you just need that uh, increased movement speed. So it's always good to do in the middle of a team fight or whenever you really need it. And finally, we'll take a look at his ultimate, which is Cannon Barrage, his R. Um, Gangplank signals his ship to fire upon an area for seven seconds, slowing enemies and dealing random damage in the area. Whenever this activates, he gets all the cannonballs to fall and rain from the heavens on top of people. And yes, it does damage. It's good for a big team fight or to slow enemies or cut them off from going into certain areas without them being slowed or taking damage. And those are Gangplank's abilities. Next, we'll take a look at his mastery page. For Gangplank's Masteries page, I just kind of like to go with the standard 80 carry type of page. I go with the 25-5-0. I like to get all the good stuff in the attack offensive tree. I get the armor pen, the lifesteal, the crit chance, the crit chance damage, the armor penetration, attack speed. All that good stuff that's just going to help me in lane and do extra damage as kind of an 80 carry melee e Gangplank. And then with the little extra bit I have left over, I take a little bit more magic resist and I get a little bit more armor just so I have a little bit more survivability in the lane and it's just a place to put my extra points. And that's just kind of the basic page I like to take for him for my masteries. As for the rune page that I use for Gangplank, I go with this page. It's a, it's kind of my standard 80 carry page. It's got uh, attack damage quintessences, armor penetration marks, armor seals, cooldown glyphs. It's kind of a standard page that I just use for my carries, but realistically, I would like to use a full crit chance page. It does give you 20% crit chance when you do have it all completely full of crit chance. It's very nice for early game and just overall, you just have all that extra crit early on. Your parlay is just really, really going to hurt people when it crits. Um, I got a couple crits off in a row the other day. I got two in a row off on Mordekaiser and he was at, I think, 100 health after 30 seconds in lane. So that was a pretty easy quick kill. So a full crit chance page with gangplanks just kind of where it's at. Now we'll go to the build. All right, totally had to do that right before we went into the build. But now that we are actually into the build, uh, we can start to talk about how I like to build Gangplank and how I like to play him and we can, you know, cover all that fun stuff and whatnot. And the first part of this game is going to be sped up a lot because this game starts off, I don't know, kind of slow in my opinion. But uh, at level 1 I do like to take his parlay, which is his Q ability, um, as I covered in the beginning of the video. I like to take that at level 1 and then at level 2 you can see I took the raise morale just so Fizz could have a little bit more mobility and so could I in case we wanted to do something. Uh, down here on bottom, we do have another Gangplank against us here. Hoyt's actually going to pick up a kill. I'm going to pick up an assist from it, so he got out of there luckily because uh, Kat had uh, quite, a, quite a lot of health left, so she was looking to Shimpo over towards us. But at level 1, I do like to take a, uh, what is that, Mackie Pendant. 
so I have more mana regeneration so I can start getting some last hits with my uh, parlay so I can get more uh, gold from killing minions. I'm going to then go back once I get a little bit more. I did take teleport too this time because I was going to plan on going solo top, but we decided to switch and send rumble up there. But uh, I uh, just went back and I did get the first part of my boots. So I'm a bit quicker in lane and then I started to get a regrowth pendant as well. Uh, that's going to build towards my first main big item, which is going to actually be a Warmog's armor. Uh, so just going to start to get that so I can stay in lane a little bit longer and so I don't have to use my uh, oranges to heal myself quite so much. You can do that, and it can work to do that, but it does take quite a bit of mana, and it is got a pretty long cooldown. So you can't really rely on it all the time to just you know feed you health. You need to use it accordingly when you need to get out of sticky situations. So... Um, but you can use it, obviously, to heal up. But I'm just going to take that regrowth pendant to do that. And I still do have a couple more health pots. Uh, I did get a couple the first time I came down after buying my pendant. And then I am going to buy a couple more and come down with those. Because that is just the way things are going to go. Here, Hoyt's going to pick up another kill on Katarina with uh, his fish. He's level 6. So am I. And uh, that's, you know, simple kill there. And then we're just going to keep farming up, and we're going to both go back again right now, because uh, we got the lane pushed, and they're down a person in there. Um, on my way back, or not on my way back, now that I'm back, I'm going to actually get a Chalice of Harmony for my first kind of smaller item. Uh, Chalice is going to be nice because it is going to give me the lots of mana regeneration, and it's going to give me a little bit more magic resist, and that's just going to be nice. Here, I did see that they did start to head towards Dragon, so I'm just kind of waiting for Leeson to show up before we move in on this and try to take it. I'm going to go after Trindamir here real quick. He's Endless Raging. I'm going to wait. My parlay's going to come up right now. When he spins through, I'm just going to barely get the hit on him and get him killed. Um, Lee Sen then did smite the dragon, so we stole that as well. I'm going to ult ahead of me here, and I'm going to pick up another kill on Katarina with my ultimate, because she was pretty low from fighting dragon. I think Lee Sen hit, him once or, or hit her once and twice, too. I'm going to speed the video up one more time again, because uh, the beginning of this is pretty slow. Uh, she's gonna move in here on me, doesn't know that Fizz is there. He's gonna throw in his fish, and I'm gonna stand here. He's gonna get the kill, and I'm gonna parlay their gangplank and pick up a kill on him there. And as you can see, my items, I have gotten a few more things. I am now done with my war mogs. That was my first official thing I did get. Um, halfway through that fight, I did have that. And then I also then did get uh, the uh, cooldown boots for my ability, so I can use my parlay as often as I can. And I'm gonna use that here again to kill her. And I picked up that additional gold, as you can see. So, I know we just skipped ahead a bunch of levels and all of that stuff. I did take my ultimate at level 6, obviously, because that's what you do. And then um, we're going to keep... Well, we're going to chase Trendomir, or their gangplank here, but he's going to get away. But now, since I have so much life for my sustainability and my ability to just tank, almost kind of off tank, he's, you know, gangplank can be kind of a tough tank, you know, I'm just going to do that, and we're going to have that for all of my funness. If that made any sense. That was just kind of like words, wasn't it? Anyways, I went back again. And now that I have my chalice, I have my cooldown boots, and I have my war mogs. I also do have an executioner's calling for uh, some additional crit chance. And then uh, that gold uh, over time as well is going to also be nice to just get even more gold to keep building. The next big item now I'm going to build is going to be a uh, Atma's Impaler. Now that I have so much health, I'm going to use the Atma's to uh, just, you know, obviously bam buff my attack damage. And I'm going to die there because Trendomir's dumb. Um, I'm going to buff my attack damage with my health with the Atma's. And then I'm going to get a little bit more armor. Here I'm going to teleport in, you know, obviously get back mid, see if we can't push this a little bit. And uh, keep doing all that. As you can see, I'm almost done with the Atma's now. I got that... Uh, Armor, which is going to be nice against their Trindomir. I think he's about the only person who kills me this game. And me and him kind of have a grudge match and keep going for each other. So uh, he's going to get away this time. I'm going to pick up an assist on him, though, right there. And I picked up another assist on someone else. I think Lux is going to get her face out here, but she's going to get killed, too. Garen comes out here, but I'm going to get an assist on him. And then their Lux is going to die, and I'm going to get an assist on her. And then we are going to take that middle tower. So... Uh, we're going to try to get an early Baron here real quick, since most of their team's dead. Since we just did just kind of pick them all off one by one, we're going to get this early Baron. Or not early, early, but, you know, level 16. And we'll have that. We'll get that additional 300 gold, and we'll get the buff. So that's going to be helpful for us. And then now that i got a, plenty of gold, I'm going to just push this middle back a little bit. And then I think it's going to be time for me to head back and continue to uh, my build. 
And I'll finish off that Atmos. So now I have that and I get that additional crit damage or crit chance. I'm going to also then pick up another cloak so I get even more crit chance. And that's going to start to be the beginning of my build towards my infinity edge. So I get even more attack damage and more crit chance and crit damage. So I'm going to start focusing on all that crit now since I have so much life. Now Trindamir, Trindamir here is going to do what most Trindamirs do. But since I have so much life and I have a little bit of armor, I'm just going to keep baiting around my turret while he keeps taking damage from the turret. And I'm going to just kind of keep farming up. He's going to come back out for another try again and slow me down. I'm going to keep running, but now he's getting low and he's going to have to stay away. He decides to move in. I'm going to flash over to him, get in front of him because I know he's only going to be able to go this way. And now, since Endless Rage is done, I'm going to shoot him in the face and kill him. So, uh, decided not to continue to keep running away from my tower when he decided to dive me. I decided just to keep baiting him around my tower so that it would do most of the damage. Since in a one-on-one -on -one fight, he'd probably be able to kill me right now since his, since his Endless Rage. And he's got quite a lot of attack damage as well. So, I uh, decided to do that. Now that we got him killed, we're going to be able to push top quite easily and take that tower down. So, just kind of a smart move on my part just to kind of bait him around that tower for days. So, Garen decides to show his face. And he got mildly fed early on in this game. We then did start shutting him down by uh, changing where people were at in the lane. As you can see earlier, uh, Rumble came down then. We started switching that around started ganking Garen a lot since he was getting fed. Uh, we're just going to try to push middle now and try to get some of that done. Their team's going to start to, we're going we're gonna to notice that Trindamir starts to go for Dragon, or head down towards Dragon in a second. And now uh, my team's going to split off and head down there. Garen's actually going to splash through them and start spinning on our Heimerdinger. I'm going to try to stick with Heimerdinger and see if I can try to help him. Heimerdinger's going to kind of be a lost cause here, so I'm going to try to move away and just stay safe. Um, my team's going to start heading back up now from Dragon, and we're going to try to move in on their team a little bit. They are fighting... Who are they fighting down below? I don't know. Garen's going to go and try to assist them. I got Rumble up behind me now. I'm going to use my ultimate now in the middle of that fight. And I'm going to move in now to pick up some assists and see if I can assist my team. I'm going to use my... Uh, can't think of the name of it. What is it called? Raise morale to get everybody a little bit quicker and get more attack damage out. We're going to keep finding all of them. And I'm going to keep assisting here. And uh, we're going to ace them, maybe? Yeah, we ace them. So, and now since I actually do have a little bit of that armor and I do have my Warmogs, I'm going to be able to stand there and actually tank that turret for my team. Uh, and then, you know, just, it's not too tough. Like I said, Gangplank build-wise this way is kind of an off tank. He can take plenty of damage and still put out good damage too. So, uh, it's kind of that ability to outlive your enemies at this point in the game by doing damage like that. So, uh, now I'm going to go back and I am going to try and finish off my infinity edge i decided to sell my uh, executioner's calling i'm gonna alt in here i can see uh um trendomir was kind of low but not officially but i did crit him for 700 and about 40. here lux is gonna get low i'm gonna hit her hard i'm just gonna tell him he can have that kill so that's fine i could have shot her but it's fine i didn't need it feed everyone on your team it's always nice and we're gonna try to go after their gangplank but it's not gonna really happen not gonna get there in time to catch up to him so but you know, good little push there. Uh, uh, I like teleporting in there and ending uh, Trindamir. He wasn't too happy about that, so as he made stated. Uh, here we're going to kind of split up. It looks like... Uh, is Baron back up? I think Baron is back up, so we're going to start to maybe move towards that in a little bit and see if we can't get that one more time because that's going to really help us push. Uh, Fizz is going to get in there and die right now, which kind of stinks. Uh, we're going to start fighting. I'm going to fight Trindamir again. He's going to kill me. But, you know, like I said, me and him are just kind of going at each other. I think right now, what am I, 6, 4, and 11? What am I? How about 8 something and 17? I don't even know. Uh, my team's going to start to get a fight here. I'm on my way moving in here real quick. They're going to start to move in on them. Their Gangplank shows up. Fizz alt kind of misses, though. They're going to dodge that. We're going to go after Gangplank and take care of him pretty quick. Trendomir kind of moves out here now, and he's going to start to cause problems for the team. I'm going to move in here, though, and start to do damage what I can. I'm going to pick up a... Or no, I'm not. I'm not going to pick up a kill her. His Endless Rage is done. He's close to me, so I'm going to parlay him real quick and just finish him off. And then their Lux is not going to have too much he's going to be able to do now since uh, their team's kind of down to a few. Or the few. And we're going to take that tower and inhibitor. We're going to take this inhibitor again. And then we're going to move top and take this tower pretty quick. And their team's kind of falling apart here. Last time I did go back, I did get a zeal. I'm going to start to build that towards my Phantom Dancer. That's going to give me more attack speed, so when I'm up in their faces, I can just do that. And then it's also going to give me more crit chance. Basically, I'll be at about 100% now with uh, all of my masteries and items and all that fun stuff. So uh, I'm going to move in on Dragon again because uh, we know we got time. They're all in their base. And uh, another, you know, Baron's going to be nice for us. So, you know, take Baron. Why not? 
here, though, right when we get it finished, gang click, I think, alts. Second too late. And then I don't know what is gonna happen. I well, I know it's gonna happen here. Trendemir is actually gonna move in right now. I don't know what he's thinking. Like we're all gonna go back. We are all actually paying attention. He's gonna start to try to get away with his uh, endless rage, and, and he's gonna start to get out of us. But I say no dice and decide to alt him. So, yeah, I use my alt to kill him. Usually your alt doesn't get that many kills with gangplank. I mean it can. And you, if you use it correctly when they're all super low and trying to get away, but usually it's just good for all the crowd control and slow that it does, but uh, I actually did pick up a kill with it there on gang or on Trindamir, which makes me happy because, like I said, me and him have kind of just been going at each other the whole game. I'm going to actually teleport into their base now. Luckily, Lee Sin's right next to where I'm going to be teleporting in, so I'm not by myself. And uh, we're going to just try to move in here and see if we can finish this game. I did finish off my uh, uh, Phantom Dancer the last time I did go back, so I have that way more attack speed. We're just going to kill Garen there while he's trying to take super minions crit him as well and uh we're just gonna move in here leeson's kind of getting caught up but i'm gonna move in they're kind of afraid of me because i've been doing pretty good at pushing and not dying and taking damage this game so i think i've died oh, i'm about to die again because you know it's gonna happen but i'm gonna pick up another kill i think my final score of this game is gonna be 10 5 and 20 i get a lot of assists this game so but i kind of off tank this game endless rage is stupid and is you know, happening. I'm gonna die, but I'm gonna kill their gangplank and get some more gold for that for the assist on Trindamir as well. But he wanted to come over and kill me one more time because, like I said, grudge match. So, and that's pretty much gonna end the game. That's kind of the majority of that build I go with. So, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you guys want to see some other build videos uh, of some other characters, let me know. But that's pretty much gonna be the build. And, uh,. You know, fun stuff like that. I uh, have some other videos here that you guys can check out from of some other build videos, and that's going to be the build. Thanks for watching, guys. Your heart is a disease. Being a pirate is a recipe. Do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. You are a pirate.